It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that, that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony, which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues other students, other former students, other alum around the world, and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life, I suspect, for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved, that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognize and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. Hello, I am Michael Hood, head of the Department of Computing. It is my privilege to welcome our staff, students, and their families and friends to this postgraduate graduation. We are grateful for all the hard work that our talented students and staff have undertaken so that you, our students, get a world-class education that prepares you well for the next endeavors in your professional careers. We are gratified that you are now alumni of our department and Imperial College London. We wish you all the best for your future and hope that you will stay in touch with our department and the Imperial community. Earning a postgraduate degree is a major achievement that we celebrate today together. Your family and friends and all members of our department have reason to be proud of you. On behalf of the entire department, I therefore want to congratulate you wholeheartedly on the attainment of your postgraduate degree. Our colleague, Professor Alistair Donaldson, will now speak to you on behalf of our academic and teaching staff with a congratulatory message. Thereafter, the name reading for the awarded degrees will commence. Thank you very much. Hello computing graduates, I'm Alistair Donaldson, a professor in the Department of Computing and on behalf of myself and of all of my colleagues, I want to say a huge congratulations to you on completing your Masters and PhD degrees. I know how tough the Masters courses are at Imperial College and how much perseverance is required to get to the finish line of a PhD. And of course this year has been even tougher than usual. Almost all of you will have had to have finished off your studies remotely, perhaps without the company of family and friends, requiring even more focus and determination than usual in this unprecedented time. I'm so sorry about the disruption and hardship this will have caused you, but it does make what you have achieved even more significant and you, each and every one of you should feel incredibly proud of yourselves. It's such a shame that we can't be celebrating together in the splendour of the Royal Albert Hall with the orchestra playing, dressed up in our academic gowns and robes. But I hope you'll all take time to celebrate your achievements with your family and friends in the coming months. One of the things I really love about working at Imperial College London is getting to know our fantastic students and it makes me proud to be part of this great institution when I go on to meet our graduates in industry, in academia, and in other walks of life. It's exciting that today you join the family of Imperial alumni. We wish you every success in the future, and please keep in touch. Congratulations again. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of the graduates from the Department of Computing. Faculty of Engineering, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department 
of computing. Jamal of Sali. Niusha Alavi Fumani. Ragat Ahmad. Alexandre Alani. Marc Artaud de la Ferrière. Michel Assara. Aritra Banaji. Elliot Benisti. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize. Patrick Benjamin. Alberto Bgu. Matteo Browan. Theodore Bounier. François Burlaco. Ben Butterworth. Daniel Kahn. Harry Kai. Wenjin Chiai Alex Cambrai Roma Nathan Casero Winner of the Winton Capital Applied Computing MSc Prize Laura Zorn Hedy Chai B Mathieu Charbonnel Sandrine Chanson Ding Yang Chen Yarjun Chen Ting Yu Chen Xian Xuan Chen Yi Shong Chen Sang Ryu Shen Arnold Chern Max Crystal Sander Coates Harry Kopok Charles Kougoureux Bogdan Kristal Paul de Miribel Thibaut de Rücke Benedetta Delfino Arthur De Pass
Richard Michel Jean Diani. Gaetan de Cez. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize, Ahmed Germani. James Doricott. Pierre L. Mkirmi. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize, Simon Ella Shaw. Paul Festor. Guillermo Freire. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence. Corbinian Friedel. Sijian Fu. Aline Fulga Winner of the Winton Capital Prize for the Best MSc Advanced Computing Student Panayotis Fitas Alex Gabel Alba Garcia Ray Alexander Gaskell Michael George Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize Toby Godwin Nicholas Go Druva Gauda Storz Alexander Grzib Pengju Guo Xi Xiao Fei Gu Andreas Haji Antoni Hamish Hall Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence Venita Leyudmilova Haram Lampiava Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize Finn Harmon Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize Hugo Hastin Daniel Hausen Daniel Heaton Rory Hedeman Louis Heary Robin Hendricks David Hillman Vlad Hondru Sasha Hu
Si Je Juan. Kevin Huberti. Winner of the Winton Capital Applied Computing MSc Prize. Sebastian Huo. Sebastian Isaacs. Mahima Jaime. Martin Jamis Floriani. Jiao Jun Jin. Einar Johnson. Omar Kabila. Winner of the Imperial Award, Independent Open-Minded Thought, Pranath Kaziti. Hannah K. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program, MSc Group Project Prize, Danielle Khan. Sami Khan Brata Kundelval Richard Kong Stamutis Korkortas Thomas Kowalski Alexandre Lac Andrew Lai Li Xuan Benjamin Lee Auguste Le Huger Ioannis Lentzos Li Ji Jung Nora Lee Xuyang Lee Tong Lee Wenjun Lee Shen Li Ju Guang Li Dayong Clavens Lim Arwin Lim Feng Ming Liu Marco Liu Davidai Locatelli Arthur 
Losty du Kerao. Alison, Mallory Juliette Lewis. Avishkar Pradyumna Mahayan. Richard Mardiat. Alberto Marzetta. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize, Charles Metz. Ludovico Michena. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Individual Project Prize. Phaeton Mitsalis Romain Molinas Paul Mongeau Shell Fan Mu Maria Mouchat Pablo Nabahas Elgarov Tristan Nemos Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize Lorenzo Nicolini Ole Eric Nilsson Zifeng New Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Individual Project Prize Afonso Nunes Tsijian Wu Sehijun Park Mike Patterson Edward Pierce Crump Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSC Group Project Prize Joanna Peneva Pavin Pitimana Ari Zijun Po Neophytos Poledoru Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Individual Project Prize Alvaro Pratt Ben Pryor Ling Quinn Shin Si Mu Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence Xiao Xia Rao Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize 
James Ray. Maxime Redstone Leclerc Edward Renshaw Hadrian Reynaud Helen Rousset James Rowbottom George Ryan Ismail Salim Theophil Sautori Ivan Daniel Savu Guillaume Chalet Debopum Zengupta Prane Dilip Shar Shelley Shen Lucia Simkanin Luca Simonato Tachpon Siri Monkol Kasem Leonard Sönke Jurun Song Alex Spies Max Streif Kaltoff Dao Ming Su Tian Zhuang Swen Shi Wen Swen Michael Tanser Yuri Tarlev Florian Toma Z Thoro Alfred Fergus Tingi Camille Triong Allier Jean Noël Tupella Mark Turner Nicholas Twyman Polius Venklovas Vitalis Vosilius Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence Andy Wang Oyu Wang Rees Ward Chemlin Waters 
winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Group Project Prize in Computing Science, Jack Westmore. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Individual Project Prize, Suni Wang. Malayaki Vijaya. Ellie Withnell. Sir Wu. Yihan Xiao. Lingji Xie Su Yang Xie Hao Sheng Xu Bokun Yang Bu Shen Ye Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, George Yasemis. Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence, Ethan Yin. Sarah Yin. Selian Yin. Alexei Sakurov Maurice Sard G.R. Wei Drang Winner of the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence Kai Zhang Chen Zhao Xue Xuan Zhao Xi Yu Zhang Li Fan Zhao Xu Xia Sao Chun Di Sheng Yi Fan Xu Xiao Tian Xu Xi Bai Su Yuzu Suan Michael Sotov Daniel Zis Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy Department of Computing Pierre Berthe Reine Carlo Biffy Wang Qiang Shi Gregorios Chrysos Daniel Coelho de Castro Jan Czarnowski
Richard Evans. Xiao Ping Fan Seneker Fernando Danjul Freer Panayotis Yarefalakis Marta Ganilo Abelanas Baresh Gecher Said Ibrahim Gasnavi Pavev Krzysztof Gomolu Maria Gramate Kopolu Benjamin Hu Christos Kaplanis Ahmed Bertan Kavunku Dimitri Golias Tristan Lightlow Fergus Lee Christopher Litbury Joshua Lind Pamulu Beseru Ning Liu Xiying Jia Mong Mitten Mystery Xuan Han Mo Rina Nair Simon Oalufsen Christian Prebu Jie Pu Robert Robinson Hugh Salimbeni Andreas Schmitz Shireen Siava King Kritafat Songsri in Demosthenes Tsumanikas Zurge Vasilechko Mengjiao Wang Zhujiang Wang Yu Fei Wu Shale Xiong Nianan Xue That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Computing.
I would like to offer my warm congratulations to you, the postgraduate students of the Faculty of Engineering, for the hard work and determination you have shown in reaching this significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months, on top of all your hard work, makes your achievements all the more commendable. I am sure you would join me in acknowledging the support of my colleagues within the faculty, the teachers and supervisors who have worked with you, and the administrative and technical staff who have supported you. This has been a team effort and I am so proud of the way everyone has come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. Engineers work together to solve problems and have a can-do attitude that has helped carry us through the past few months. Something for us all to remember as we move forward. But this is your moment, a moment which helps us celebrate you and mark the next steps you will take. You, the engineers of tomorrow. The world needs your skills, drive and enthusiasm. Before you take your first steps on this journey, pause a second to recognise what you have achieved and know that you walk into the world as part of the Faculty of Engineering community. Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian alumnus of Imperial, who has spent a lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. Today's global economic realities, as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic, conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there is no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago, a minor with a narrow technical focus, and gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience, and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So, graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation, and your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up 
some wonderful opportunities for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal, where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure, and just inputs. I wish you well. And God bless you. Year of 2020, I salute you and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.